Come on, baby. That's right, Groove. Wake up. Come on. Uh-huh. That's it, baby. Get up, Groove. What? Where? You fell in the ditch. The car. Engine died. What? Oh, shit. It's okay, Skeeter put the van engine in. <laughs> Jesus. Is that safe? No, not at all. Now get back in the saddle. Go south. Catch the tanker. We'll jack some food for an engine and follow. Dig? You there, Swinger? Yeah, I'm here. I think they're gonna try to cross the border into Texas, south of Lubbock. Why? Where are they going? They've got to refuel. Yeah, Spanner's truck stop. Carlsbad. You own it, baby. Don't let anything happen to that truck stop. And greetings gamers and welcome back to Let's Play Interstate 76. What you are about to see are the um, results in essence of the last five uh, attempts at this mission that I did. Because uh, quite frankly I did this mission over 25 times. Now, what's hard about this mission is that whatever your setup was in the previous mission, you have to have the same setup. That's how it works. That's why it can be difficult in the sense of if you didn't um, have a decent layout going into the mission prior to this one, you're pretty much boned. Because this mission is hard. Very, very hard. Like I said, I had to restart it 25 times. And the only way I managed to do it in the end was by actually decreasing the difficulty level. And even then I had a hard time of it, as you can as you 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 will see later on. But um I found a way to do this, basically take it step by step and more or less when you can, uh take them on one at a time. So like these guys here, they lay an ambush. There are two cars, this is just one of them. And um, if you zoom past them, they both activate at the same time, and you're more or less boned, because, uh, not really this car here, but the other car has, like, rockets, and it will annihilate you. It's good. But, uh, I was actually quite pleased with myself doing this playthrough, uh, this run at it, because, um, <laughs> the car there is still blowing up. Um, you see, as you can see, I've got, I'm damaged, you know, there's green everywhere, but it's green, that's the point. Uh, usually at this stage, getting a few rockets shoved up my arse, um, one of the, like, uh, usually either the front or the back is completely gone in terms of armor, which is not helpful at all, considering uh, what's to come. seem to have cut my tongue that's that's annoying so that's me using fire right rockets to try and catch this dude the fire right rockets yeah not not that good I mean sure it's a turret but it never hits <laughs> it, it like hits like one in one in ten Hell, I'll even go to say 1 in 20 of the rockets actually hit the target. So, yeah, not that useful. And 3, 2, 1... Bullshit! Look, see the armor? I had green armor and one rocket blew me up. One. Yeah, I'm here. I think they're gonna try to cross the border into Texas, south of Lubbock. Why? Where are they going? They've gotta refuel. Yeah, Spanner's truck stop, Carlsbad. You own it, baby. Don't let anything happen to that truck stop. So yeah, this is attempt 22. Same tactic as before. Not good. Not good. And as you can see, Creeper. I'm already doing worse than I did before because I already have yellow armor. This is bad. This is very bad. What was pissing me off was that every time someone... Someone? 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 
Now, every time a rocket was fired, the sort of, you know those graphical glitches I keep pausing the game to fix, but basically that's what, um, they occurred every time someone shot a rocket. But yeah, here you guys get to see based more or less how you should be playing the game. How you really should be taking guys out normally is Not good. Not good. basically um, sort of driving past, shooting your frontal weapons, and then when you pass them, shoot them with your rear weapons. And I haven't actually done that a, uh, a lot, even at all. Oh, uh, by the way, apologies for the echo <laughs> you guys can hear. Um, this is because of just the room I'm in. I'm at, I'm at my parents' place now, so uh, I'm gonna have to like uh, adjust settings and stuff. Maybe like add some curtains or something to the room. I don't know, but uh, yeah. So uh, I'm also testing out for the first time because um, Camtasia Studio. Uh, I got the update for it, and now it has um, uh, an actual feature that allows me to uh, add a narration, voice narration to the thing. Essentially it's um, instead of me uh, you know using audacity to just record my voice and then slap it onto the thing I'm actually um, watching the video with Camtasia and recording it uh, like that. Um, so yeah, we'll see if that's good, if it's shite I'll just go back to using um, you know Audacity, because that seemed to work pretty damn well. Um, what else is there to say? Um, we're almost there. To, uh, in terms of Interstate 76, there are only three story missions left. I tell a lie, there are four story missions left, but the last mission is basically a boss fight. So you can count it, it, it does count as a mission, but. I always lump it in, you know, sort of like, I don't count it as a proper, you know, uh, mission as it were. Um, after that though, I will be doing all the quote-unquote scenario missions. It's uh, basically um, like one-off uh, missions where you have to get more, most of the time it's get from point A to point B. And, uh, you know, which is... Um, there's only one that I really remember, it's because there was this massive jump. And if you actually use like nitric oxide, you uh you 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 went far. <laughs> I'll probably show that off. In fact I will show it off definitely, but um yeah, so you you know, it's not the let's play isn't over as it were. Um looking at the thing, I believe we'll get to so what, that's if there's four missions left. This is part 14, we'll get to part 18, <laughs> oh yeah it is, I was trying to, um, because uh, the car obviously takes this side road here, so I figured, you know what, if he's going that way, I'll, I'll head him off. Um, but yeah, if, so part 18, if there's like 8 of them, who knows, that, um, you know, we might get a nice round number, like 25, which would be nice. But afterwards, um, I will be doing the expansion semi prequel uh, Nitro Riders, which essentially uh, tells the tale of uh, Jade and Taurus. Because you played, you played as Jade in that one. I could be missed. I think you play as either Jade or Taurus, but I think you do play as Jade mostly. Um, and uh, essentially, it's the it's the backstory of how Jade and Taurus teamed up. And, um, all, if you remember the cutscene of, uh, Taurus saying, you know, uh, listing all the, like, uh, vigilantes, all the different vigilante groups being dead, <laughs> or, you know, having been whacked, you actually meet all of them. Um, I don't know if you meet, uh, that flamethrower dude. Uh, I think you do meet a patriot, though, the, the flag guy we met in the... The hallucinatory uh, uh, dream sequence, um, but yeah, I have never played that game. I've never played, so uh, that will be fun. I don't think there's an actual campaign story like this one, but they they have side those side mission things like uh, like the scenario things I was talking about. 
But uh, I don't know. Ah, uh, you know, cause, as I've said, I've never. Oh yeah, this yellow car is if, if you're playing on it. If you're playing the wrong at home, and uh, I know you're not, uh, destroy that yellow car. That yellow car is very, very, very dangerous. But not to say that these two cars aren't dangerous too. But uh, yeah, you really want to destroy that car first. These guys, yeah, these guys will shred you to pieces. <laughs> Me using my handgun, quite frankly, it's like using a, a fly swat at this stage. So at this, yeah, at this point I panicked and just took out the uh, turret to just shoot everything. And, to my surprise, it actually worked quite well. I stopped the attack, but there's no sign of the tank. Hold tight at the truck stop, Swinger. I'll be there in five. Alright, now as you can see, we took out those three cars, but the mission's not over. And quite, to be honest with you, sorry about that, that was quite loud. Um, to be honest with you, the hard part wasn't those cars. It wasn't getting to this part. I always, I more than likely always made it here. What happened was, these things pop up, which are kamikaze cars. Now I know what you're thinking, oh fuck, but generally what happens is, they get past me but they don't blow up, only one of them blows up. And um, I, like, I catch up, see, only one of them blowed up there, and then I shot the other one. But, um, the thing that really got, killed the mission is this van appears from over there, and just destroys the gas station every single time I played it, for the 22 times I played it. It was insane, this, every single time. And, you know, uh, this was one of, like, the better runs I had, because... Yeah, and now with some quick editing. As you can see here, these are like one of the other runs I had with the kamikaze things worked. As you can see, my front arm is gone, I'm missing wheel. And uh, basically, if you're missing if you're missing one wheel, you're fucked. <laughs> you might as well restart, because you're not going to get there in time. Why? Where are they going? They've got to refuel. Yeah, Spanner's truck stop, Carlsbad. You own it, baby. Don't let anything happen to that truck stop. So now I took down the difficulty level, and you can tell immediately because I annihilated that car. Um, basically, I went from normal to easy. That being said, um, considering these are like the last four levels in the game, even on easy, these are difficult <laughs> is an understatement quite frankly um, this mission was actually all right and I, I made it the first time after I turned it down to easy but I think that's more than likely due to the fact that uh, I had um, I had uh, been used to playing it on normal at this stage and therefore you know I sort of had I, I used the same strategy I just it made it so I took less damage and the, the cars the enemy cars uh, took less punishment before blowing up. Uh, the next mission, yeah, not easy. <laughs> I'm struggling with it as we speak, so... Uh, yeah, it'll be a while before that turns up. To um, satisfy your hunger for Let's Plays, though, um, Silent Storm Sentinels? Yes? I finally managed to get Fraps to stop derping on me, which is why you get in this video, actually, as well. But, um... Yeah, it's finally stopped derping. Um, I I love the cars actually trying to climb the cliff there. I think what was happening... Uh, I'll be honest, I was using a very old version. Not very old, but quite old version of Fraps. And I haven't tried the new version uh, with... Uh, yet, but what I mean by that is I haven't tried the new version... Uh, recording while... Uh, recording my microphone 
sort of, you know, uh, enabling so we record both the game audio and my microphone at the same time. Um, because what I've done is I've basically recorded, like, the first half of the random encounter, like, 15 minutes. It's more or less the first half. I thought 15 minutes, that's a good number. Because I'm at my parents' house now as well, I can't have uh, files that are too big because of just simply the... who Driving through the flame there, very Hollywood of me. Um, because of just the internet speed. But anyway, you don't have to bother about that. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, what was I saying? Sign storm fraps, that's it. So, um, that first part, it will be post commentary. I'm going to disguise it as much as I can for it to be, um, sort of look at least feel live. And you know, it should be alright. The um, I don't know why, but the music, there were like lots of moments of just silence. The music didn't like turning on, which I found weird. And uh, yeah, there my engines red for Christ's sake. Look at that. Look at that glitch. So yeah, you see, this is on easy, but I'm still taking a shit ton of damage. And actually what happened there was I got quite lucky that the, the yellow car, the one I said is very dangerous, because the reason it's dangerous is because it has these rocket things that will annihilate you in a couple of hits. Um, it actually, um, I don't know why I like drove next to it or something, but uh, basically what happened, it blew itself up, from what I understand. Um, it did do that occasionally while I was playing on normal as well, which is why I think this. And here, you see the the expert use of the fire right turret rockets here, as it, they don't even hit the target at all. Alright, so one of them makes it, as you can see there's the explosion. Make it to the other one, and I quickly get to that van, hoping to make it in time. And I will see you guys next time. So, I'm going to leave you with a nice explosion. Until then. Until then. Now the truck stop is secure.